a CIS inertia sensor is installed inside the pole or signal head itself. The sensor is connected to a CIS quad monitor board, which is located in the controller cabinet or miscellaneous equipment cabinet. In this video, a timer is used to show the exact length of time taken for electrical disconnection after impact. Observe the illuminated signal pole in the background to the left. The inertia sensor in the pole, which is about to be struck, is in fact disconnecting all voltages to that pole. Following an impact, the CIS monitor board will also provide an output to a remote monitoring system, therefore informing the user of a collision. The attached timing device shows the CIS quad disconnects all voltages in 125 milliseconds after impact. This is well under BS12767 requirement of 400 milliseconds. The damaged traffic signal pole has been installed in an NAL retention socket foundation. These are designed to withstand the most severe impact, allowing all damaged street furniture to be removed and replaced in minutes. To remove the damaged pole, simply remove the side chamber lid. Release the locking set screws. Lift the damaged pole vertically from the retention socket. Insert the pedestrian plug or new pole and replace the side chamber lid. The CIS quad enables you to electrically isolate an individual traffic signal pole while all others remain operational as normal. This has proved invaluable for maintenance work on large junctions. The maintenance engineer simply locates the CIS inertia sensor in the pole he intends to work on and disconnects it. This then leaves the individual pole free and hence safe to work on.